his uh, cousin is a panther here in the Sacramento. She lives in Sacramento, Mandel mm -hmm. Rucker, and mm -hmm. that's that is her uncle. A panther? Yes. Black panther? Yes, sir. Oh. Today? The new black panthers or the old? Like like uh, Huey and then. Oh, the original <laughs> black panthers. Right. And, and still yes. call it and uh, still, uh, you know. Yes. <laughs>
classmates at Sac State was Tom Hanks. And they're still friends now. Hmm. Tom Hanks went to Sac State. He went to Sac State. He also went to the Wyoming Watershed College and the Junior College of Hayward. I had no idea. Yeah, see? I had no idea. So, who is this guy right here? This guy right here? Yeah. That's Lieutenant Colonel. I'm no, sorry, that's Colonel Spanky Roberts, George Spanky Roberts, and he was the first graduate of the Tuskegee Institute. And his family lives here in Sacramento. And that's the contingent, his widow and her contingent were the ones who came in uh -huh. 2015. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a great photograph right here. So, so this is um, Robert Wiggins. And Robert, the uh, first lieutenant, Robert Wiggins, uh, was wanted to be a pilot, and this is when they started recruiting pilots, white pilots, in Maxwell Field, and they found out he was black, so they kicked him out of the program and had turned him into a janitor, and his mom was president, Truman at the time, and begged him to let her brother back in, and so she went to D.C. and had who stamped it and sent it to the president and not too long afterwards he won her back and he was reinstated. Wow. And he had to kill the match. Yeah. And I'll visit Denzel Washington. <laughs> Actually, that's Ace Lawson who's over in the corner, the top corner. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Now that's and that's his, okay. this is yeah. his playing, the Ace of Pearls. The Ace of so Pearls. Ace, 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 Ace of Pearls. Pearls. Uh huh. So, Betty, his daughter, Betty, named this, was uh, gracious enough to always lend me those two paintings whenever I have an exhibit. And this is her husband, Lee. And he's a Vietnam veteran. So another story, another sidebar about Ace Lawson, and he was the first four-year athlete at Fresno State. So oh. when I had the exhibit in 2015, we had closing night, mm -hmm. and everybody went to the wall, as I mentioned, and uh, she had said to me in passing, mm -hmm. you know what, she goes, that's right, you're from Fresno, you went to Fresno State, and I said, yeah, she goes, my dad went to Fresno State. I said, what? She goes, I go, I go, what's the name? She goes, Ace Lawson. And I didn't have a photo up at the time. I went, Ace is your dad? She goes, yeah. She goes, they never shot went in the 80s and tried to see why he wasn't part of the alumni. And I said, oh, you ain't got to say another word. So in 2017, we started the first regional exhibit called Do You Know Who I Am? We focused on all West Fresno, which is probably like every Fresno yes. veterans. Right. And so I told them, I said, you gotta come down, you gotta come down. I can't tell you why, but you gotta come down to Fresno. So her and her sisters came down and they did it during the opening ceremony. They did a, a special part for her. Oh. And they not only they made him a member of the Seattle Women's Association, they recognized him, they gave him the girls a plaque, and they, they gave him three percent of the two. because my AA is in mass, is mass communications. And it was at Chabot College, I developed this, like, this really amazing love for radio and DJ, as well as um, just sports, sports broadcasting. He, I think he was retired, but he was on KCBS News Radio for many years, and I, I had a chance to work with him, and he was an amazing person. Um, Henry Baskerville is one of the artists I also featured in, in my exhibits as well. He does pencil and uh, color pencil drawings and lead drawings. This is Louise Arrington. She was uh, a riveter at, at, Chev at the Chevrolet Motor Group. So she and Graham were both riveters. Howard Williams, the uh, Vietnam veteran, and he, I met him because I was a member of the Tuskegee Airmen Legacy Chapter. This is Airman Charles Wiggins. His, uh, his daughter-in-law, Rochelle Kane Wiggins, is the events coordinator here at the Old Sugar Mill in Clarksburg. Her dad, Skip Kane, is over to the side. He's in the top row, far right, and with the combat helmet. Mm -hmm. 
with some ladies from the know. <laughs> Space stuff along the way, so I, I hit Houston, I hit, yeah, I hit Florida, and going through all that stuff was so cool. She's a two-time, two-tour Afghanistan veteran. 
And that's why also something I was glad that she sent me this picture because there was a lot of people trying to figure out if she was black. Okay. Yes, she is. Okay. And I want to let everybody know we all come in slightly different sizes, shapes, yeah. colors. Yeah. We all can stand this When I came to the Oprah, to the gallery show with Lori Valesca, mm -hmm. I didn't know this was her. Yeah, me neither. I just thought this picture was about her, but right. she was in it. Exactly. That's what I thought too. Yeah. That she's night, a, yeah. She's a patient, patient and French. Um, and we we had always had conversations because a lot of people who sit there like, oh, yeah. you know, asking me that we always talk about how black do you have to be to be black. Exactly. Not it's not just skin tone, but you just yeah. mindset yeah. would happen. Meryl Tengestall, she is the first woman, first black woman to fly a spy plane. Huh? A spy plane? A spy plane. SR-71? A U-2. A U-2, okay. That was kind of like a rocket ship. Because they dropped that from another plane, didn't they? Isn't that how that one worked? The U-2? I'm not sure. I thought you could take it off like a glider. Because the wings are so long, they had to have people hold them when they landed, I remember. Because they would droop down, hit the ground. And that's Lauren again with her mom and her sister. So her mom started in the service as well. Her, both her parents were in the service. So we have them uniform. So when Barbara comes back, they're getting hung in the rafters. Oh, the, the uniforms are right. in the We're collecting that kind of thing too. Yeah, and then we also have, I just ordered um, display cases. Mm -hmm. So we'll have medals in those. Yep. So, okay. And then we have the, what you call the computer, one of the two computers that is on the back here. Uh, the compass and oh. the apps. Okay. Thank you, because all of the, like what you're talking some, about. Since we saw the opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have some more that I have to add her in there, too. Mm -hmm. Pretty much six more photos. Mm -hmm. Because the Spanky Barbers Girl Walkers, his yeah. mother was in the Air Force. So I was made out of her picture because there's a lot of legacy. Yeah, family things. connections. Yeah, and and this is Colonel Charles Young, who was a local soldier, also a, what they called the first park ranger. And so in 2015, Kimberly Allen, who served in the, in the Air Force, called up the gallery and said, oh, my great-great, my great-great-grandfather served in the military. Oh, who's your great-great-grandfather? <laughs> Charles Young. Yeah. And so that picture was shot right there. Was there a book about her? There are several books about her. Right, okay. Okay, because it, it sound, that story is sounding familiar to me. Also, you can think of Mulan, too, same thing. <laughs> that's, when they got, that's when they copped it from. What? 
Mulan, 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 Mulan for she, China. Where she dressed as a as a shogun. from this story. This is her discharge papers, and she was also uh, uh, eligible for a pension, so she got she received a pension. Okay. And that and was, was a civil war. war? Yes. that Doc Rivers thing where he said we keep loving this country and this country doesn't love, love us back. back. 